I'm going to start off uh, with the uh, uh, release of uh, names from this, this morning from a victim that was located, uh, Michelle Marie Carey Charba. Uh, has been identified uh, as the victim that was located uh, yesterday at 4 o'clock. It is a fatality. We're down to 11, or correction, 9 persons missing that we've identified as missing where we can articulate uh, uh, with some definitive uh, uh, reason that they are uh, missing at this time. You know, since the, again, since this morning when the power came up, the uh, internet connections and all those sorts of things across the county are starting to get reestablished. We're finding people, we're reconnecting people, and that's happening uh, as it should. Uh, we had a lot of questions this morning uh, on how much area has been searched and coverage. Uh, we're at 3,600 acres and 26 river miles have been searched uh, to date. Right now we have volunteer centers, resource centers set up in Wimberley, Texas at the Cypress Creek Church, 211 Stillwater, again open 9 to 5. We have to have especially folks that come in to help out individually, we need to check in with that center. Uh, that way we can keep track of uh, who's coming and who's going. We don't want anybody to get hurt. We also line up people who need help with people who want to help. If you just show up and go door to door, you're going to be disappointed, I think, uh, if people aren't there. They're not ready to receive you, whereas the VRC, the Volunteer Reception Center, can uh, make those connections and make them right. Uh, we have one set up in San Marcos at the San Marcos Fish Hatchery at Plaza Center. That's at the uh, 206 CM Allen Parkway. It's just a few miles from here. Uh, debris management is one of the next phases that we're having to be talked or that we need to talk about. That's a recovery thing that we have to deal with. Uh, part of the debris, as you can imagine, most of you have been on site out there, especially in Wimberley area. Uh, moving up along the river. It's massive. It's going to take years to figure this out. And I don't mean to, to figure out how to do it. We know how to do it. It's going to take years to fix it. It is a massive undertaking. Uh, the roads, you know, just to deal with the type of infrastructure in that small town, for example, is going to be incredible to figure out how to move that amount of debris and get it from one place to another and get the disposal underway. In the middle of everything this afternoon, I'm sure you all saw that Blanco County had a tornado come through. Uh, Blanco County got uh, a pretty good hit. I've talked with Chris up there, the emergency management coordinator, and uh, we're trying to uh, make sure the resourcing is equitable, make sure we get everything. The people who need things, they're going to get it.